Good morning, my friends. Today is Thursday, January 25th. It is the conversion of St. Paul the Apostle. I'd like to invite you, I know we've talked about the School of Spiritual Direction. The Diocese of Joliet has teamed up with Franciscan University at Steubenville. They have a three-year program that's done here in the Diocese of Joliet. There was a come and see a couple weeks ago during the snowstorm. It was postponed until February 6th. So that's at 7 p.m. down at the Blanchett Catholic Center in uh, Crest Hill, if you're interested. More information can be found on my blog. So if you've never seen the movie Paul, Apostle of Christ, that was produced in 2018 with Jim Caviezel, highly recommended. It's a wonderful uh, movie that depicts the relationship between Luke and Paul and uh Paul's last days as he was writing in prison. We know the story, right? His name was Saul. He was a, uh, a zealous Jew. He was persecuting the Christians. And, uh, you know, as he's on his way to Damascus, it says, A great light from the sky suddenly shone around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? So this is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 22. Interesting, Jesus is saying, why are you persecuting me? Well, Saul was persecuting the Christians, but Jesus is saying, you're persecuting me. So Jesus identifies himself with the Christian community. And he says, whatever you do to the least of my brothers and sisters, you do to me. So persecuting Christians is persecuting Christ. And he tells them, I am Jesus the Nazarene whom you are persecuted. So Paul says, what do I need to do? And so we know that uh, Saul was blind for three days. He goes to see Ananias, who lays hands on him. The scales fall from his eyes. And uh, uh, Ananias tells him, get up and have yourself baptized and your sins washed away, calling upon his name. So this was the big conversion of Saul. He becomes Paul. Anytime you see a name change, know that there's a mission change. And Paul becomes one of the greatest evangelists of all time and just a powerful, powerful witness. And his conversion continued day in and day out. And this is something important for us to realize is that, you know, I converted to Catholicism at the age of 18, but my conversion continues daily. And each of our conversions should continue. And it doesn't mean changing one religion to another necessarily, but it's, it's, having our hearts being converted more, transformed more into the heart of Christ every day. Just like your marriage should not just be a one and done. We said our vows that one day back in the church, now we're done. No, it's a, it's a daily renewal of those vows, laying down your lives for one another. Uh, as we follow Christ, we should be daily recommitting ourselves to Christ and surrendering ourselves to his mission. And sometimes he's going to call us to do some challenging things, but he's always going to be with us on that journey. And then we have it teamed up with the Gospel of Mark chapter 16. Jesus appeared to the 11, so this is after Judas betrayed Jesus and uh, killed himself. Jesus says, go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. This is our mission. Similar to Matthew 28, the Great Commission, Go and baptize all nations in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so Jesus goes on to say, Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. So this importance of we need, you know, if we can't have people hearing the gospel if we don't have people preaching the gospel. Not everybody has the gift of preaching and teaching. Uh, and so if you have that gift to use it and share it, and, and then once we hear it, the Lord invites us to believe and to be baptized. And you can say, well, I was baptized as a baby. That's good. There's grace, amazing grace in that. And now daily, this daily conversion, recommitting ourselves and say, Jesus, I believe in you. I trust in you. And he said, uh, signs will accompany those who believe in my name. That's me and you. They will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents. If they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will ha lay hands on the sick and they will recover. You can say, I've never seen that. 
I have. And God wants you to have faith, faith enough to move mountains. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, on this feast day of the conversion of St. Paul, we invite you to come into our hearts to transform us completely. Help us to daily to lay down our lives for you and our brothers and sisters and to treat others uh, as if they were Jesus. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. To enter families, buen camino, and God bless you.